I was 12 years old then. My father and my mother fled, promising us that they would come back for us. They won't do you any harm, they said, because you are little children. It's illegal. They kissed us, hugged us tight, couldn't hold back the tears. They turned to me and said, now you are their mother, father, and sister. Once gone, I felt as if our old home had collapsed upon me. We never saw them again. We were departed to Tepelena. That harsh world, the hunger, the cold, the illness, it brought us even closer together. We were playing with other children when the mine exploded. I saw how his body parts flew up in the air. I gathered those parts in a sheet. And when we buried him, I said to my sister, we couldn't protect the only brother we had. The only thing that remained from my brother was a sock, scorched. Every night of my life, I kept that sock close to my heart. I would fall asleep with it. How many times I shed tears over that sock. Even now, the blaze of death of my eight-year-old brother burns as the moment of the explosion. My last will is to be buried with his sock close to my heart, just as his tiny palm used to lay on me during the miserable nights in the barracks. I believe in heaven. When I go to where nobody ever returns, my brother will be waiting for me with the rag ball to continue the interrupted game.